Here's a quick and interesting demonstration of a communication service monitor. This particular model is an IFR, model 1200 Super S, and it's used for a variety of RF tests, um, for example, to test uh, signal strength and modulation types uh, for various radio transmitters. In this particular case, I've got it dialed to a local FM radio station, 96.5 megahertz, and we can see over here on the spectrum monitor, uh, the FM spectrum produced by that, uh, 96.5 megahertz is directly in the center here, and right now the horizontal um, sensitivity here, or megahertz per division, is 0.1. So if that is 96.5 megahertz in the center, that'd be 96.6, 96.7, 96.8, etc. If we turn this down to get a wider view, for example here at 1 megahertz per division, we can see a small peak. I'll turn the intensity up here a bit so we can see it better. We see the peak uh, right here at 96.5 megahertz, and then two notches over would be 98.5 megahertz, and so on. So right now we're looking at the spectrum, like I said, of uh, FM broadcast radio. I've got the squelch turned up right now so we cannot actually hear the audio. If I turn that down, we can actually hear the music. I don't want that interfering with my narration here, so I'm going to turn the squelch up. We can still see the pattern on the spectrum display. Well, one thing I wanted to show you today, it's pretty interesting, is uh, what happens in the 900 to 920 megahertz band, which is an unlicensed band in the United States, used for a lot of digital communication, and especially something we called uh, frequency hopping spread spectrum. So if we switch to that, I'll switch to 910 megahertz right here. 910.00, enter. You'll notice when you look at the spectrum display, we don't see continuous peaks like we did with FM, FM broadcast. What we see are rather sporadic peaks and uh, sporadic spectra popping up here. Those are most likely digital communications of various types on this unlicensed band. Um, quite a bit of it is most likely sped spectrum frequency hopping where the transmitter in question is hopping between different frequencies within that band back and forth uh, for various reasons. One is to ensure a higher level of security. If you do not know what the hopping sequence is, it becomes very difficult to intercept and understand those transmissions. Also, most frequency hopping spread spectrum devices can and will do so based on the elimination of interference. So if there is a persistent source of uh, RF at a particular frequency, the transmitting device, if it's programmed to do so, it will actually skip that frequency and hop over it so as to not uh, have any interference with that. And of course any receiving devices would have to be updated with that uh, same hopping sequence to avoid the interference as well. So just want to show a couple of useful tests we can do with a communication service monitor like this. Uh, this is a device really intended uh, designed in the uh, days of analog RF for a lot of analog transmitter uh, receiver servicing, but still useful for showing some things in digital. I think it's pretty cool.